everyone welcome back to my channel i hope everyone's doing well i'm trying to film this video in a different area of my house so i hope the lighting is okay uh it's actually raining outside so there's not much i can do about the lighting uh so somebody asked me to get a little bit more detail on my uh last big purchase my chanel uh, shopping tool uh, from the 2014 spring and summer pre-collection and also since I uh, used this bag straight for the last month so I'm going to do a quick review on this bag and um, also some modern shots um, in the end so uh, my main concern about this bag were, uh, well, was the strap uh, because I was kind of worried that the strap was not substantial enough I wish the strap was a little bit thicker, um, but you know it has held up pretty well. Um, the material of the strap kind of reminds me of the straps uh, Louis Vuitton used on their Daimel e Bing bag, um, which is a little bit stiff, but it does get softened out a little bit over time. And um, somebody comment on my videos, uh, my unboxing video, saying that this bag reminds them of the Louis Vuitton uh, Number Four in Abbey Leather, which is definitely yeah, I can never see the resembling. I think this bag has a little bit more details, you know, because of the charms, uh, because like the grommets here, uh, and then I guess one another good thing is that this one has the feet on the bottom. So a, a couple things, you know, I, in my opinion, I think this is slightly, well, this is definitely better than um, the Louis Vuitton uh, Number 4 in Epi Leather. Um, uh, the price-wise, I think the Epi Leather uh, Number 4 is, I think it's around 2000 and then this one is 2600 but this is a seasonal item, so probably be gone soon. But anyway, so this that is made of the made out of the caviar leather, which is a little bit shining, and then it's like pebble look. I mean pebble leather look. If we can see, it's very doable in my opinion, um, and it does get a little bit softer over time. Uh, when I first got it, it was very stiff, but now you can see. Depends on the stuff you put in in this bag. You can tell there's a little bit like, you know, you can tell there's like. Uh, a little bit uh, softer and kind of based on the, the stuff you put in. Um, and then bottom, you know, has a fee, so you don't have to worry that, you know, it gets like uh, the corners uh, rubbed off, uh, things like that. And uh, <clears throat> the strap, I think it's a little bit uh, thicker than uh, the one on the Never Fall. Um, so it's probably like about like one half size compared to the Neverfull straps. Um, so far it has held up pretty well. Um, yeah, so I really love this bag. Couple things, minor things um, I want to point out is that um, even though this bag does have a zipper, you can see it's kind of like a jacket zipper, uh, which I kind of demonstrate like uh, how, you know, clo closing it uh, in my unboxing video. But uh, in reality, when you have stuff in the bag, it's really kind of hard to like close it up because you really have to use two hands and then like this like like flap or whatever you call it, like it's kind of hard to pull it together. So I haven't used the zipper at all. Um, but you know, since I only use this one at work, I mean, I don't really have to worry too much about it. Um, but if you know, if I feel the need that I need this extra security, I mean, I, I can do it. I mean, it's just a little bit more work just to get, you know, the zipper closure, you know, close and open. But, you know, it's it's fine. And another thing is, I think you can see, um, based on what you put in the back, um, hopefully you can see that the corner is kind of similar to all other Chanel bags, I think. You can tell like the corners maybe gets like the shapes like that'll get like push out a little bit corner. Um may not be as bad like maybe you can see like here, like you know, may not be as bad as like the GST maybe. Um but you know it's I I think that's kind of a common thing with Chanel um bags. Uh but that that's fine with me. Um yeah, so I just want 
pointing out I really love this bag. You know, obviously I say in my unboxing videos that this is my dream bag, and then it's uh, it's been holding up very well, and I really really like it. Um, and um, I forgot to mention in my unboxing videos that uh, well I did mention that there were different colors um, that you can get. Um, I think there's like white, well it's white, blue, red, um, one thing I forgot to mention is that besides the um, black one which is you know one color it's all black, all the other colors actually still has the um, black straps and the tri black trimming. So if you get like a blue one you know you get the black straps and trimming and everything else is blue. I saw somebody on YouTube has that bag um, and then I think that blue is probably a little bit more like a navy blue. Uh, it's definitely not light blue and when I went to uh, the Saks Fifth Avenue uh, store um, to check out this bag the first time, um, the one I saw was in white which I think is like a gray summer bag because you think about like if it's white here and then you have the black straps and black trimming so like the black and white contrast like that's kind of like a like very classic Chanel look you know Coco Chanel I guess like black and white and you know, contrast so uh, so that one looks like a very uh, a very pretty summer bag and it's just in my opinion very Chanel <laughs> if you know what I mean so yeah so that's kind of uh, a quick update about this bag and I'm going to you know stand up and show you some modeling shots, alright? Okay. Alright. Um so I'm you know wearing black as usual, so it may be a little bit hard to see, but uh you should be able to see. Let me step back a little bit. Uh for reference, I think um my weight right now is from, well I'm not going to tell you my weight since I'm still trying to lose some of the baby weight but uh, uh, my size is probably about like 12-14 four, and then my height is about like 5 point, I mean 5-7 um, so yeah and then in my opinion it's very comfortable on the shoulder uh, even while I wear a jacket um, well maybe like a light jacket um, yeah so usually I wear it you know I can Hold my hands here is fine with me. Um, I think I mentioned that the bottom, the width is about six inches, so it's not very bulky. I said, you know, I can just kind of rest my arm here. That's, you know, and the strap are very comfortable. Comfortable. Uh, well, I said pretty, pretty comfortable, and um, it doesn't bother me at all. And I have tried uh, the uh, never full. Um, in Taimia and Bing and then that kind of bothered me uh, and you know maybe because it was a little bit thinner than this but anyway like this strap don't bother me at all and then let me show you usually I wear like this just kind of have my arm down or sometimes I will push this back like this which is totally fine too okay and then let me show you like you know this is the front you look on the side and like the back. Hope you can see. Okay. So all in all, it's a really functional bag, um, and I really love it. So yeah, if you're interested, definitely can check it out uh, the Chanel boutique. Um, yeah. So that's my review, quick review of this bag. Um, if you have any other questions, please leave your comments below. Please rate, uh, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Alright? Thanks. Bye.